I like to start off today with a little poem that the angels helped me write. It's called The Light Worker. She soothes with the length of a finger span as she reaches out to touch her hand. The room brightens up when she repeats the words that were spoken from the lips of the Lamb. Angels surround her like the stars surround the moon in the midnight sky. Her energy flutters around the earth like the wings of a butterfly. The angels Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Gabriel assisted me in writing that and I thought it was beautiful and I wanted to share it with you guys uh, to start off and it's something that you want to think about and if you want to uh, you know that's also included in my book so uh, or if you want to you know replay it write it down feel free uh, to use it in anything uh, in life um, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the difference between angels archangels uh, spirit guides and uh, so you kind of know the difference of who you're connecting with um, uh, there is a difference um, first angels and archangels were both uh, made from from the Creator okay they have never lived a human life um, every time the creator thinks about love an angel is born so and the creator is only love so imagine how many angels are, are really out there uh, angels are purely sp spiritual beings and they have no time or space restrictions so don't ever feel like you're bothering the angels or that you feel that somebody else has more important problems than you because they have no restrictions they can be with multiple people at multiple times um, they are lighted beings that respond to our request for support protection comfort and assistance and they are always there to help us um, you know especially when our intention is to help others and bring joy and healing to the world I mean they just absolutely love that um, they're always surrounding us uh, they're surrounding our loved ones our home our business all we have to do is ask that's it they receive great joy at, at us asking for their help I mean that's that's what their goal is to help us get through life and you know and and ask them for assistance uh, Archangels Archangels have specialties just like a doctor has specialties Archangels have specialties in like different areas of health and and specialties like in their healing uh, modalities so um, you know an Archangel you can call on any Archangel they'll never refuse your request for guidance or assistance but they all do hold different specialties you know and if you do don't ever feel like you call on the wrong one because they're always going to bring in if they can't do it which most of them can do anything if they can't they'll bring in the one the the Archangel that can help you um, for example Michael Archangel Michael he's known as the protector angel or the police officer Archangel Raphael is known as the healing angel also Archangel Michael is very good with technology he's the technology guru so you can call on him if your computer is messed up and not working right just call in Archangel Michael he's helped me so many times with my computer even if it's freezing up it's moving slow something ain't opening it's not working right ask him for assistance because he will be right there um, Archangels are the managers uh, among the earthly angels hierarchy but and we will learn about the hierarchies in one of the future podcasts um, I'll, I'll talk to, I'll talk a bit about that um, but again you can call on any Archangels um, we're going to go over in a future podcast as well of all the different specialties that the different Archangels have so you know who to call on but I wanted to decipher the difference between them first um, let me see uh, angels warn us give us warnings um, about um, 
anything you know so we always have to be open to the angels messages um for example one time the angels warned me to back up my files onto an external hard drive thank god i listened because like a week or two later my computer crashed and i had to format the hard drive if i did not listen to the guidance the angels brought me i would have lost all my documents everything and that would have really sucked <laughs> so that is just one example of how the archangels helped me you know so uh let's move on to spirit guides spirit guides are a bit different from angels and archangels okay spirit guides have all lived a human life before and are assigned to us much like a social worker is assigned is assigned to a case okay basically what they're doing is learning through our lives what they might not have learned in the past in their own lives in the past and they also help us find our true life's purpose um, they receive special training in the afterlife to help them learn help and guide us from the other side spirit guide is normally someone we knew in a past life or this life that has crossed over um, before we were born um, we've crossed paths with our spirit guides somewhere somehow in some way uh, they could be deceased loved ones from this life that were crossed over before we were born or a loved one from a past life that but we all all of our lives each life should I say that we have lived we have the same souls in them so in other words uh, your mom or could have been your sister or a friend in a past life your brother could have been your father so sometimes you gotta look at things like uh like okay does uh your son uh act like your father at times you know things like that so you know or does or are you really close with your daughter or is she like a sister to you you know things like that and that kind of gives you a little hint you can also ask the angels to bring you messages in your dreams to show you what's going on okay so um you know and and again this does not mean that our loved ones that have crossed over in this life that we did know don't watch over us because they do it's just that our spirit guides are with us from the day we're born so we cannot it, it can't be someone who we actually met in this life you know it doesn't mean that our loved ones in this life are not watching over us and joining hands with our spirit guides and angels helping us from the other side because they do help us they do guide us it's just that they weren't with us from the day we were born because the, obviously they were here with us so um you know my father passed away in 2007 i know that he's with me i know he guides me i know he helps me from the other side you know but you know they every all of them angels archangels and spirit guides cannot interfere with our life because of our human free will they can't make decisions for us because of our human free will they must allow us to learn our lessons at, just like they did in their own lives so what that's when asking for their assistance comes in that's when releasing the human free will comes in because unless we ask them for help they cannot interfere of course unless uh, unless there is impending danger and protect us if it's not our time to cross over and we did not complete our mission here on earth this is the only exception when they can't interfere with our free, human free will Okay, uh, I, I want to uh, tell you a little quote about guardian angels. Um, sometimes their guardian angels are confused with our spirit guides. And again, guardian angels are like a breath of God or, or a thought of God, a thought of love. Spirit guides, don't get me wrong, are not. it's not that they're not uh, from, you know, the creator's um, thoughts of love, but they have lived a human life before where guardian angels have not so that's that's a little uh, that's a good way to think of uh, spirit guides and angels any type of angel okay here's a quote from Doreen Virtue your guardian angel is the angel who constantly stays with you from birth 
until your transition back to heaven. This angel loves you for you unconditionally and bigger than anything on earth. Your guardian angel makes certain you are safe and guided always. Doreen Virtue. Next podcast, we are going to go over the uh, specialties of the angels, of the archangels. I'm sorry. So, um, you know, tune in to our next podcast. And if you have any questions, you can visit our website and contact me through our website. And I am so happy that you tuned in today. And I hope that you enjoyed our podcast. And I will talk to you soon. Namaste.